Hi. We're Ginkgo Bioworks. We genetically engineer microbes to produce natural ingredients. Companies spend about $25 billion a year on natural ingredients. These are things like natural sweeteners like stevia, flavoring fragrance ingredients, the, the botanicals in your cosmetics and shampoos. And the challenge with natural ingredients is they're unbelievably slow and expensive to manufacture. This is a crop of sandalwood trees. These trees take 10 years to re reach maturity before they're harvested, and sandalwood oil is extracted for perfumes. Ginkgo customers are able to replace that farming production process with a process that looks like brewing beer. It reduces production time from 10 years to 10 days and reduces cost of goods 50 to 90% to produce the same ingredients you would get from the plants. We're seeing rapid adoption of our technology. In the last 18 months, we've signed nine contracts, three with Fortune 1000 customers. These contracts include four and a half million dollars in development fees and over $10 million in projected future annual royalties for licensing our strains. We've already assembled the team to execute on this traction. The founders have been working together for over a decade since we first met at MIT when we were starting our PhDs. We've assembled a team of PhDs around us, including two ex-MIT professors, full-time on staff. This is a picture of one of the rooms in our facility. We use robotic automation and software to reduce the cost of genetic engineering a factor of 5x in the last two years. This is the beginning of a Moore's Law for genetic engineering. And I love that we're in the Computer History Museum tonight, because it's worth giving you just a taste for where we are in the history of genetic engineering. The last 20 years of biotechnology have been the punch card era of genetic engineering, slow, laborious, manual programming of organisms. And even with that limitation, genetic engineers were able to create massive applications in pharmaceuticals and agriculture. Imagine what they could do with a modern programming stack on top of biology. That's what we're building at Ginkgo Bioworks. We built the first compiler, the first debugger, and the first assembly language for programming living matter. And we're delivering it to customers today. If that's something you're interested, you can find us in the Jurassic Park t-shirts at the break. Thanks very much. <laughs>